Hello and welcome to Accounting Lecture in London Educators uh, Coffee Class with Mr. Elias, which is basically Accounting Coffee Class. Although I'm having a tea today, still it's a coffee class. Well, many students have joined from different parts of the United Kingdom and even different parts of the world, uh, sharing my screen. Our coffee class. Today's topic is a, a Saturday. Normally we do financial accounting. Today we're going to do accounting equation. Although many students from AAT, let me admit some other students. Anybody in the queue? I keep admitting them. Uh, as I say, most of the students from AAT, but uh, not a problem uh, with the AAT, CAT, ACCA, similar. Yeah, accounting equation is again another basic uh, topic. Last week, we had a discussion regarding debit credit, how to remember debit credit, pearls, debt click, yeah? Uh, this week is about accounting equation, another very basic but very important topic, whether you're doing any level of accounting, GCCs, A-levels, AAT, ACC. This book in front of you is from BPP8 again. We are very thankful to BPP uh, for their books, um, world-class material. It's from ACCA FA1, FIA, FA1. Hmm? And uh, we're going to talk about accounting equation. This is this chapter number two, asset liability and accounting equation. Are you ready to start? Give me some um, writings or unmute. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. You can write it down. Yeah, you got to be ready with your pen and paper. Yeah, I'm getting some answers. Brilliant. So thumbs up from Joe. And uh, who else? Um, I just had a chat with Thomas. I hope you're ready. And Mohammed and everybody is ready. Brilliant. Yeah, great. Now, um, okay, let's start with the book. Is uh, Sharing this world-class material with you, accounting equation. If you remember, who remembers the accounting equation? As it equals to? Capital plus liability, exactly. Just trying to show you. Here we go, highlighting for you. Accounting equation, asset equals to capital plus liability. That's your accounting equation, making it more deep and uh, interesting with a very fantastic example. You know, having uh, these coffee classes gives you real life example. Um, here is your example. You, you know, maybe you are using a computer or laptop, desktop, anything, yeah? Mm, I'm using, sometimes I use Apple. This time I'm using Windows Acer. So let's assume we are the manufacturer and distributor, in, in short, the business of Acer computer, okay? Acer or Dell. ACER computer. So this is the building of ACER. We're going to talk about accounting equation only in this 10-15 minutes video, all right? So ACER. ACER has a three-story building. What did I say? Three-story building. Let's draw it, yeah? Ground floor. Don't call it girlfriend, yeah? This is not a girlfriend. <laughs> Ground floor, yeah? <laughs> okay, first floor, 1ST, and second floor. Now, the in, in, the, in the ground floor, ACER makes the computers uh, do I have like a uh, yeah you got a a keyboard they make the keyboard they have a mouse and assemble the laptop and everything yes yeah? it's, it's a production center right okay so production okay and first floor is let's assume admin and second floor is um let's assume finance so don't they have so many other items i mean while i should sip on my coffee yeah as i said it's a tea so the floor belongs to them, it's their asset. Any other items in the production department, what you can imagine, heavy machineries are there. We call it P, plant and machinery. P and M, not the prime minister. <laughs> plant and machinery, yeah. We used to call it PPE, property plant and equipment, yeah. Where, the more you learn accounting, the more you uh, get uh, to know these terms. In the second floor, you have so many other items like heating and lighting. Heaters could be there. There could be oven. There could be um, fixtures and fittings, isn't it? Other assets, so many assets. These are non-current assets. Do you agree with me? A uh, beautiful chair and sofa for a beautiful lady of uh, the receptionist. And in the finance department, you have more computers. All these are assets. Do you agree? Yes. Thank you. Now, we said asset equals to capital plus liability. Let's assume the whole building and anything inside this building, like all the chairs, tables, and plant and machinery and computer, all the assets are together, one million pound. One million pound, yeah? One million pound. Of this one million, let's assume owner 
let's say it's my business. I started the business. Hmm? Last week, I taught you business entity as well, a little bit. The business is separate from the owner. Although I am going to invest money in the business, it's business is money. You always think from business point of view, whenever you do accounting, you think from your business point of view. So being an owner, when I put money into the business, that's called capital. Let's say you might put 0 0.6 million. Yeah. And what happened to the other 0.4 million? We have taken a loan could be. It could be a bank loan or friends and family loan. That's your accounting equation, people. Yeah. Asset equals to capital plus liability. Like we had an asset worth of 1 million, I said. And of that 1 million, 0 0.6, I invested being an owner. And 0.4, we take in a loan, long-term liability can be, yeah? Which we will repay with an interest, different story. But that's your accounting equation. Asset equals to capital plus liability. Very often in different parts of the world, especially America and Canada, capital, they call it owner's equity. Okay, owner's equity. <laughs> There's a ginger tea <laughs> in my cup okay good for health isn't it? so you can always rearrange your equation asset minus liability equals to capital do you agree 1 million asset minus liability is 0 0.4 left over with 0 0.6 make sense that's how you need to play around. That's your equation, people. Yeah, you need to remember that. That's our almost end of this lesson. But I'd like to go a little more, a little more with this chapter. Hmm. Like assets. What are the form of assets? Stall. You got an stall. Yeah, flower and plants and cash money. There could be two types of assets. That's what I wanted to show you. Assets are two types. Non-current asset and current asset. Non-current asset held in the business for more than how many years? More than one year, more than 12 months time. Fixed asset, non-current asset, long-term asset, fixed. And current, the name is, gives you the answer. Current assets are non-fixed. Give me four or five examples of current asset. We're gonna finish the chat, uh, video. Uh, this is our equation is done. Hmm? Bank, cash, Closing inventory, trade receivables. Maybe later, somewhere we're going to learn more about uh, inventory receivables and all. But these are your assets, yeah? In These assets put into the business by the owner, that's why it's a capital as well from business point of view because we have learned double entity last time. It's a dual concept, yeah? So that's how you do your uh, accounting equation i would say we will keep our accounting equation till this we have learned whatever in your business it is an asset but you might have taken some loan and any asset any money introduced by the owner in the business is a capital so you have learned assets current and non-current capital as well and liability liability means when you take a bank loan long current liability but if you take a short-term liability like uh, overdraft or it could be a trade payables is your current liability so assets liability and capital that makes your accounting equation asset equals to capital of liability any question you have you can unmute yourself you can talk to me i said that's all in this particular chapter that was a chapter from acca book fa1 a very um, beginning book a bit of calculations given you can always do it uh, whatever i just showed you they have done here um uh, of course, your asset liability goes up and down. If you buy new assets, think from business point of view, as it goes up, yeah. If you sell it, as it goes down. If you pay by check or bank, your bank goes down or cash, cash goes down. And later on, maybe we're going to talk about credit sales, credit purchases, all right? I said so that's all for today. If no more questions, let's keep it till this. It's just less than 10 minutes our lesson held today. Tomorrow, we will see with management accounting, a little bit of management accounting. These videos will be uploaded our um, social media. You can check it out from there. Thanks for joining in. Uh, if you want to say anything, it would be good. Otherwise, you can say thank you. We can take a leave. Any, any question from anybody? Thomas, Joe. Thank you, Thomas. You're welcome. Yeah, we can unmute and say um, so, so to hear. Yep. Yeah. And uh, anybody? Mohammed. 
those of you who have joined, well done. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in some. Uh, Joe says, thank you. We'll tune in for tomorrow in management accounting. Brilliant. Yeah. See you tomorrow. And um, goodbye from, again, ACCA on behalf of ACCA. I always welcome in the weekend classes, coffee classes. Counting coffee See you club. Tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Bye.